Now don't let up on this man. This man is dangerous. This man is this dangerous. Man is dangerous. I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous. What's going on, everybody? This is Nate Moore back again with the Growl Zone podcast. Hope everyone's having a great, fantastic Thursday, and hope everyone is staying safe and having a good time and getting through the week okay. We got a lot of topics to get to today, including Joe Burrow, his past performance against the Browns, which was fair to say his worst performance of all time. But before I start diving down the list of topics, I got my boy Kyle Jasper here, Rage Cage, with me. Kyle, do you have anything to say to the people before we get started? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Growl Zone Podcast. My name is Cage, and I'm super pumped just to be here with you guys. We're on the balcony, down at the banks, man, in between the stadiums, ready to get this podcast rolling, talk about all the topics that we love and want to share with you guys, and we want to hear from you guys. So when we get this audio and uh, soon, soon to be the video out there, man, we're going to love to hear that feedback from you guys. So let's just get it rolling, man. Yeah, so diving down the list of topics we got today, ladies and gentlemen, like I mentioned before, we got Joe Burrow's last week's performance against the Browns, easily safe to say his worst performance of his whole potentially football career in general. Obviously, the Bengals, they lost 24-3 to the Cleveland Browns to start the season. For some reason, we can't get over that bug of Cleveland, even though they finished last or third or second to last in the division for the past two or three years. Other than that, we got a few other Bengals topics we want to dive into, including the Lyle Collins being released after they signed him one year ago to a three-year, $21 million deal. We're going to dive into that one. And also, my boy Pac-Man Jones, Adam Jones, was recently arrested at CVG Airport. In fact, the cops you're hearing me right now are coming to go get him for public intoxication oh and terroristic threats. However, looking at the video, it I think I actually might take Pac-Man's side. And we got a bunch of other really? NFL news wow. topics. We got some general sports topics, including supposedly LeBron James is going to get his coach prime on and recruit every single superstar in the NBA to perform good, at the baby. Olympics. But like I mentioned before, we want to be considered the Growl Zone podcast if we didn't start where it hurts the most. And that's the last game against the Cleveland Browns. Like I said, Ugh. Bengals lost 24-3. to And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't even that close. I mean, they benched Joe Burrow with five minutes left, and the reason is because it was his worst performance of his football career. He passed for 82 yards. That's not rushing yards. Those are passing yards at 82. His completion centers was 45.2%. By the way, this is the guy that set the single-season NFL record for the highest completion percentage in one season. So... I watched the game. KJ, I'm pretty sure you watched the game as well. What were your thoughts yeah, saw, watching the game? The highlights. I saw the highlights. Yeah, what were your thoughts watching the game and watching that? Yeah, I saw the highlights. So the main thing I, I want to point out that I noticed right away, I want to ask you this, Nate. So do you think is Burrow taking too much time in the pocket, or do you think is O-line, hence Leo Collins, getting let go? Do you think the O-line's the problem, or do you think Burrow's the problem right now? So I think it's a couple things. I think one, even though you hate to say it, Joe Burrow always starts out slow to begin the year. Yeah, I mean it's kind of like recipe. Just like last year, you know. Yeah, they so. started out zero and two last year. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if we remember last year, first game against five the picks? Pittsburgh Steelers, five interceptions. Five picks. One, dude. two, three, four. Five interceptions. That's more rings than not LeBron one, has. Not two. Yeah. Not three. And they not also four. still should have won that game if Evan yeah. McPherson doesn't blow the extra point. But th- I think that's one thing. He starts off slow, which is very frustrating considering the other guy, the only guy in the league that's better than him, Patrick Mahomes, just lost his first season opener. He's four and zero in season openers. Now four and one. Two. And they could have won that game. And yeah. the wide receivers. And I yeah. watched that game. And the wide receivers would not have Awful. freaking butterfingers yeah. on their damn hands. Kadarius Tony I mean, had dude, five he, targets Mahomes and he dropped looked, four of them. Mahomes looked insane in that game. Yeah. And people and, were giving him shit. I'm like, dude, it's not. He's nah, not it involved. wasn't his fault, dude. It, if you think it, it was watch Mahomes' that game, fault. Man. If you know football, yeah. dude, it's, he has nobody. So yeah. Kelsey's gone. So Chris Jones gone. 
but he's coming back, right? Two, I think, and this is the one I was con- kind of confused about. Do you realize Zach yeah. Taylor wasn't calling the plays? You realize that? Did you see that? I thought, it was, who's our OC? I don't know, but I don't know if it's the same guy that's been there. But I know Taylor's been the one calling the plays because he's always had the playbook. Yeah, let me reading look, down let me the look plays. It up real quick. Yeah, look it up. But you know, to be honest. First season when we went 0-11 before we won our first game and Taylor was calling Ryan the plays. Ryan Callahan. Yeah, who has been there these past – he's been there since Zach has got there. But calling plays is – Oh, it's fifth year like, in Cincinnati. He's been there I don't understand why you would disrupt an amazing last two years calling plays – and hand it off to someone who I don't know if Brian Callen has called plays before, but it certainly look, certainly looked like he did it before Sunday's game. I mean, I, you can't throw for 82 yards to start the season, dude. I understand interceptions, especially if they're unforced errors because you're getting back dude, into the I swing saw, of games. I saw a clip today. Miles Garrett was – you know what Michael Parson does? He kind of just does like a stand-up. Like linebacker yeah, on they the d- line, they move him around a lot. So, yeah. yeah, they kind of just flex him out yeah. in and out, like uh, Michael Parsons. Yeah, bro, he did literally a hezzy oh, between the, du- the, the du- legs. Yeah, the dribble, <laughs> dribbled. Yeah, around the center and still. I don't know if he sacked him, but he got pressure on, bro. Where he had yep. to like force attack on the backfield. Yep. Well, he's like, dude, that's. Fucking embarrassing. Well, dude. And, that's and, embarrassing. Yeah. Dude. Well, and that's the third point too. Is I like mean, I said, number salty, one. Dude. I mean, Miles Garrett is probably one of the best D lines. Yeah, whole like NFL, number one, like, Burrow starts out slow. Number two, it looked like Zach Taylor wasn't calling the plays, even though he's called him for the past two or three years. And number three, I was telling this to my friends: the Browns are the biggest mysterious team going into this NFL season because yeah, we you don't know what that. Deshaun's going to look like. Yeah, we they got an amazing defense still which people I think sleep on yeah. you got Miles Garrett they added Zadarius Smith to it you got Denzel Ward who's an all pro cornerback who by the way locked down T Higgins like wasn't even close who won that battle and then you're playing in Cleveland which we haven't won a home game in Cle- we haven't won at Cleveland for the past six seasons so it's like it well, was no we won that garbage garbage game didn't we no not in Cleveland Oh, it wasn't in Cleveland? No, it wasn't in Cleveland. Oh, we shit. haven't won a game in Cleveland in six years. And to put All a cherry right. on I top. Let me talk about it. Let me add on to that. So, dude, I used to live in Cleveland for a year. Right. Dude, it is so windy up there. Oh, yeah. And it's raining. You got the it's lake right wet. there. Yeah. Like, the lake effect up there is the stadium is literally on the lake and that exactly. lake if you know that lake is huge and people don't realize <laughs> yeah. it they call it the great lakes for, and, uh, for a reason it's just hard to throw up there like that's why the browns always have a good running game because that's what they focus well, on and it was also fucking raining and too. that's why deshaun he kind of fits well in cleveland yeah a little bit because he's kind of more of a running quarterback which is fine yeah they can't really have a packet pocket passer quarterback in cleveland because i mean they tried to baker and look what style. happened Look what happened to Baker. Right, you look at Manzo. Uh, well, he's kind of a running quarterback. Yeah, Manzo. But yeah, he <laughs> he's kind of like a non just Baker, yeah. I mean, who else came through that's decent. A lot. Just yeah, there's so lot. many. There's like 20 of them. I can't a even lot. name them. But. Yeah, they had at one point like 27 different quarterbacks since they started or something Fucking crazy Brian like Hoyer that. Or something. Yeah. But I literally think if you take those five things, like I said, it was also raining. A, I think it rained the hardest the whole NFL weekend bro, up there. I don't know. If that doesn't play in his favor, I don't think, in the rain either. I kind of I kind of think of it as like like in in college football they always say if you're going to lose get it at the get it out at the beginning of the season because at least you'll have time to bounce back. Yeah, I'm not and, we're not pushing the panic button. You're not Yeah, pushing I'm the not pushing button. the panic button because unfortunately I hate to say this but we've seen it before like I mentioned before the five interceptions against the Steelers last yeah, year. Dude, was, we're not pushing a panic button. Yeah. Burrow but, got Burrow got his haircut. For the ladies, the bro got his haircut, so it's <laughs> Yeah, like, I saw that. And, but, by the way, you can still get sad girl shots for nine cents at the Philsons, man. They're still well, like I said, we're not pushing the panic button now, but if you look at their schedule, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, when you win first place in the division and you get to the AFC Championship, was yeah, it two or three years in a row, your schedule's going to be tough. So they got the Ravens next. That ain't going to be easy. 
The yeah. Rams, who everyone thought was going to be easy, they just beat Seattle 30-13, to so that's probably not going to be easy. You got the Titans, who are always going to play you tough. Cardinals, that's probably the easiest uh, win. That's a, that's easy and then one. you got the Seahawks, who are kind of... Yeah, we, we don't should, know what. We should like, be the Seahawks. We match up well against the Seahawks. Yeah, like is Geno going to be the Geno Smith of last year? Is nah, he going to be the? We should be the Seahawks. We should beat. We should beat those four teams to be honest. But should, when you get the off Rams, to a slow we, start, we struggle. Aaron Donald's got our number, dude. Yeah, but don't worry about that game. I, like like I mentioned, I'm not pressing the panic button yet. And actually, if you look at next week's game against the Ravens, it's their home opener. Right now, the line is the Bengals are a three point favorite. So Vegas isn't pushing the panic button either. But right. would I be well, a little I bit mean, nervous? Yeah. Burrow dices up the Ravens every year, right? I mean, I mean they, in the regular season, they usually. Went, well, they went 1-1 one and one last season, and one of, they lost to the game when Lamar was playing 17-16, to 16, I think, and the Ravens hit a usually, game when it field goal. Usually we can play the Ravens okay. For some reason, the Browns is like our biggest, yeah. biggest problem. We, but we, you've got – there's like a same – there's like a same uh, kryptonite for all these teams. They have always like one incredible. If one team's got one incredible D lineman that we can't block, I mean we're gonna lose That's nine out of every ten times. <laughs> damn near every team at, since his fucking well, reign at quarterback. I mean, I mean he's gotta be like super good. He's gotta be like a TJ Watt. He's gotta be Miles Garrett. He's gotta be Aaron. Yeah. He's gotta be like somebody on the top five D line. Yeah, he's gotta be like elite. literally just can't out block because we always have the worst out lineman. Yeah. So. So if the Bengals, let's say, if the Bengals lose to the Ravens, is that the time that hit the panic button, or is it kind of uh, like I, last year? I think we the lost Ravens it. are good, so I don't. I think the Ravens could like make it to the Super Bowl, so I don't think so. I think they can make it to the Super Bowl, but they like, got to Super They got to clean team. it up because you should beat the Texans more by, like, what was their score? It was like twenty-five to nine or something like that. Or that's good enough, yeah. But like. Needless to say, ladies and gentlemen, like we said, we're not hitting the panic button yet, but... I don't think you hit the panic button until, like... But, like, when is the time where we start uh, off well? Like, like how many times... the Cardinals, we, right? Say we're 0-4, get to the Cardinals. That's... W- we start winning. Dude, if we get then to 0-4... Then, then we win again. Then we win again. Until you... Like... We, the Cardinals is going to be the turning point. So we had to win that game no matter what. So we go yeah. 0-4 in that game, then, like, I'm still not... Hitting the panic button yet? If I hit the no, panic if button, we, if we go, once we get to like five losses, then that's why I'm hitting the panic button. I think if we go to zero and four, that's the time to hit the panic button because I don't know the stats historically, but zero and three is bad enough. If you get to zero and four, it's damn near impossible to make the playoffs. Also, it's hard as fuck to make the playoffs when you damn near have four playoff teams in your division. Now, needless to say, the not Steelers, the Steelers, not the Steelers. They didn't look like it against the 49ers, but you got the Ravens and you got nah, the Browns. That's a lock of the week. And the Ravens and the Browns are ain't they're not bad, dude. Like they're those are minimum above I think 500 are teams. on the Browns a little bit, man. That's what I'm saying, dude. They're the biggest mystery going into the NFL season. But let me move on to another Bengals topic because we just mentioned Miles Garrett essentially doing an in-between-the-legs crossover move and still beating one of our offensive linemen. Yeah. And the Bengals decide to release Lyle Collins, their offensive right tackle, who just last year signed a three-year $21 million deal, and he's a former pro bowler on the Dallas Cowboys. So wow, what do you think about the move? Potentially they think they're going to save about – 5.2 to 7.4 million dollars in cap space. Yeah. What do you what do you think about? Well, I obviously can't block cuz he just got hezzy through the legs. Well, he's hurt right now. He's not playing. Or he's injury prone, he can't get on the field one or the other, man. He can't. He's not He played enough. 15 games last year. Let me ask you this. I don't know. I mean, uh Do you think it's he, wise if he needs to space, if he needs space for T and Sam Hover, I'd rather have those guys over him, so Yeah, but if you can't get the ball to those guys, then what are we talking about? So I know they have Jonah Williams, I know they just signed um Orlando Smith or is it Orlando Brown Jr. Orlando Brown, yeah. But like is it smart to cut a guy who is a former pro bowler at your weakest unit? Cause the offensive line is always the weakest unit year in and year out and he just cut at least a valuable backup but is he basically did it reach the point where he was too expensive know, a like, backup has he been a locker room problem has he been a I don't think so injury prone do they think his, you know what I mean like I don't know 
what what they're seeing in the front office. So well, it, like they got, I think you gotta trust that because they see like all oh, this man's knees d- almost gone or like yeah. he's never gonna be the same type of player. Then you rather you rather put the money towards guys that are actually on the field. Yeah, healthy. The best ability is availability, and you yeah. mentioned earlier maybe they're maybe this is the move where this gets enough money to pay the Higgins contract or get Sam Hubbard done, but I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know if it's... Well, I think the problem is, looking at last game, he's got everybody's heads turning about, now the focus is on O-line, O-line, It's O-line. always on the O-line, and that's why it's like, how can we not get this fucking thing solved? Like... I thought, I thought we went out and got guys, like you said. We got the number one free agent in Orlando Brown Jr. Yeah, so what are we... T- what are we like tweaking about? I don't understand. I'm tweaking about that Burrow just got sacked block. five times against the Browns. One was on a fourth down that you had to get if you actually wanted to make it a semi-competitive game. And like, like well, you said, I dude, mean, let's give it. To, you remember when um we were making that run and going to that Rams Super Bowl and that O line sucked that year. It was weird because that O line turned it on towards the end of the season. So until the Super Bowl. Give it, and then yeah, that well, like well, like during the playoffs they played well, and then like later in that year they played well. Yeah. So maybe they just maybe it's, you gotta know, get some time chemi- and mesh get together the chemistry and going, like and fresh pieces. Yeah. Miles Garrett, dude. I don't know, we can debate this, but I think he's probably second best D line next to Aaron Donald. What about Nick Bosa? No. No. I don't think so. You realize who who's who was last year's defensive player of the year? Yeah, yeah, but I don't care about that. <laughs> well, I think T.J. Watt's better than uh, Miles Garrett. In what capacity? In what way? Miles like, Garrett's just, faster, if I'm stronger. Taking, if I'm starting a team and I'm looking stronger, at stronger, and he's got better moves. Like who's won the defensive player of the what year? Are gonna, what are you gonna say? He's smarter? Maybe he's smarter. No, I'm gonna say he's better. His IQ might be better. His Outside just ability that, to Garrett, sack the quarterback. Miles Garrett's got a lot of guys. on every aspect. Yeah, but just because you're the biggest and fastest doesn't mean you're the best. Right, so you're saying his IQ is better. No, I'm not. So, I think his playmaking is just better. Like, T.J. Watt right, what, got to thing. 19 sacks in a year. Almost beat the record. Right, but they... Sure, I guess it's about stunts, what the, what the play calling is, how they... How they like disguise TJ Watt in the defense. Like I would say how they utilize them. There's so many factors in football. Yeah, man. I would say Garrett's the more physical freak. I mean the dude it weighs six five, what, two what, three hundred something, and he runs a four five forty and he right, can right. dunk it's a basketball just, like this is a this is a freak. Just a physical freak. So we're just talking about that, like Aaron Donald's not the tallest guy. But, I think it's gonna be Miles Garrett. I, yeah, I, like I said, physically wise, Miles beats TJ, but, but I don't think anybody TJ, beats I would Dom. Say is the I don't think anybody beats Donald. Beats um, oh, that's the biggest dude out there. Well, Donald's like six foot. It's like six foot, six foot one, but he's just so stocky and so smart with how he positions his body and stuff. That dude, he's got to be taller than that. Dude. Yeah, he's but, not taller than that. I don't know. If I was picking best defensive players or at least defensive linemen, I would throw Donald. I would, If I give a top three, I would throw Donald. I would throw Nick Bosa. And I would slightly put TJ Watt over Miles Garrett. Damn, he's Just only 6'1". Wow. Yeah. He's Damn, not. He looks a lot taller than that. Well, he, <laughs> have you seen him that without a shirt on? Dude, the dude has a fucking A-pack and he's a defensive lineman. <laughs> it's like, he's what the A-pack. hell are That's you? Got me, like. Got me twisted. Dog. Like he's a he's the he's the roided out version of ET. Like he's not from this planet. Dude. Bro, let's talk about let's talk about Adam Jones. What happened with that man? I don't even. Yeah, know. Yeah. So Adam Jones, Adam CBG Pacman Jones down the street, former defensive captain of the Bengals. CVG's whacked. Dude. Yeah, he it's was like Kentucky dude. Put that shit in. Cincy. Yeah, he was arrested yeah. at CVG Airport in Northern Kentucky for apparently public intoxication and terroristic threats. Now, did you happen to see the video of him where WL? I think it's WL. No, no, go into it. Go into it. Yeah. So, so reporters caught him after he was. Like, I think he posted bail. They were asking him questions out of the station. He claims that he got on the flight at like five or six in the morning. So his whole thing is like, why would I be drinking at five or six in the morning? And honestly, dude, well, I don't know about that. I haven't seen the charges, but. 
I, like, what do you mean? He could have went out all night and then pulled up. Yeah, but I don't know, dude. After watching the That's video, I, I think I That's more believe I him. I more believe him because he said he booked two seats. He was trying to find a charger or something or trying to, like, something was going on with his phone charger or something. And then just shit hit the fan. They said he was being disruptive. Maybe he's being upset because he couldn't do whatever with his phone charger. But like I said, after like he, seeing him in that video, Dude, he didn't fly and, Delta. Then he probably fucked up. Gotta fly right? Delta. You ain't should fly say, Delta. Should fly Spirit like Ocho Cinco. Yo, your growlers out there. If you ain't flying Delta, dude, you're fucking but, out, dude. I don't know. I think it maybe maybe it was one sense where maybe he did go out the night before and he was maybe a little hungover, which you're not in the best of moods usually when you're hungover. Think about how much money Adam Jones got, and he belongs to High Park Country Club. Does My he? man's got money, and I hope so. Oh yeah, he's got money, and you don't think he went out to a little club or something, or got teed up with the well, with the dude? Boys? Did you ever see that? Come uh, on, dog. Did you ever see that ESPN? He's, like the king. he's one of the kings of Cincy, dude. Bro, did you ever see that ESPN documentary called? Does he live here still, by the way? Do you know? I, I don't know. <laughs> I I he's guess because he was got getting a crib here, yeah. But did you ever see that thirty for thirty called Broke? Did you ever see that? No. You know, seventy nine percent of professional athletes end up broke. Yeah, dude, they spent all their money. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know if he has. I would assume check. he has money, but I don't. I don't know. Like, dude, I would hope so. It's so hard. Like with taxes and shit, it's so hard to keep your fucking money. Dude. No, I think it's more of you're 21 years old and you're handed a million dollars. Now go manage yeah, that. Yeah, you don't realize like, all right, the government's taking 30 percent. Oh, the government's taking that. probably 40 like, to 49 right, percent. All you got is net. 30 of a million, like net 70 of a million. So. But dude, taxes is not the main reason you go broke. Right, right, right. But they're not factoring that in. They're like, oh, I get paid a million. Well, no, I think not. that. No, you're not. And then, then you go out and go get a fucking nice whip. No. Yep. And then not only that, you get sales tax on top of that shit, dude. Yep. So this no, is I, like everything just adds up. You just don't realize how much shit adds up, dude. No, I mean... They get the car, the house. There is a video, and I hate these so kind much of... so much interest, dude. It's just like so yeah. much bullshit, dude. Well, and I remember... Dirt. Anybody, everybody... And let this be known, everybody's trying to stroke you out there, bro. Anywhere you go, everybody's trying to stroke you, dude. Yeah. Once you get money, they're coming for those pockets, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So get, get you in a Roth, get your IRA, get you some investments, dude. At least you have something in a portfolio that's making money. Well, well, you're not doing shit. Well, it's some mutual funds, goddammit. Well, and I remember one, like, do you ever see those... Oh, finance major. Do you ever see those GQ videos where it's how I spent my first million? Do you ever see those videos? GQ no. will get with a professional athlete, and they'll talk about how they spent their first million. And I'm watching... And All right, Nate, so how are you spending your first million? I'm not spending it. That's the point. Like, you don't... Well, you you shouldn't on, be spending your first million. Oh, you gotta million. spend on something, though. Like what? Well, you gotta buy a house or something. I car. maybe rent an apartment or yeah maybe if I'm if you I'm an athlete an dude I'm renting I'm not buying anything I might buy a house for ladies I, and gentlemen well, you got that much money you buy a house 100% I w if I would buy a 100%. house I would buy make a house make sure you put the correct amount of money down so that way your interest rate is not but too I high. would buy a house where I eventually want to live at I'm not going to Necessarily buy my dream house in the first city where I get drafted because most oh, likely you're after about with that scenario, okay. I'm saying like as a my first player. rookie contract, oh, I'm yeah, yeah, not yeah. spending my first million dollars, dude. Right, dude. Because one, I don't know if I'm gonna make it, and then two, after four years, if well, the you team might get I'm shipped with, off, yeah, exactly. Like then you gotta sell it. Like little baby, one of the smartest things he ever or. It made sense where he's like, I don't own a house. He's like, I own an apartment, but I'm touring all goddamn year. Why would I buy a house? I'm only going to be in it for a month total throughout the year. He's like, I bought my mama a house. I bought my sister a house. Well, it, it's not about that. It's, a house has is an asset. Yeah, it's an asset. I, that's so, what I'm saying. Like, I would it, it, it's like, just like an investment. It, well, and that's it what makes I'm saying. money over time. I would look at myself honestly. Okay. And if you're a little baby... You, since you put your name, signed your name on a house, that value is going up just because people are going to say, like, oh, a little that's baby his used house. to live here. Yeah. Well, and that's what I'm saying. Like, so, like, if I were to that. buy if I were to buy a house, 
I'm gonna look at my career. I'm gonna sit down and be like, look, I got 15 years at the best being a professional athlete. So after this 15 years is done, what city would I could I see myself living in the most? And if I have that conversation with myself and my financial advisors, then whatever city that is, then I would buy a house there. But right. not necessarily the city I'm technically playing. Like, if I play for the Packers, I'm not buying a fucking house in Green Bay, dude. No offense, because after my professional yeah, career, not even Aaron I'm not living not in Aaron fucking Rogers. Green Bay, Wisconsin. <laughs> He's dude. like, I'm going to get the fuck out of yeah. here year one. Now, would I potentially buy a house in Nashville, Tennessee, Charlotte, North Carolina, Austin, Texas, where right, it's somewhere booming? Somewhere attractive? Yeah. yeah. Since I yeah. Are. <laughs> then it be Then it is an asset. But Green Bay, Wisconsin. No offense to the people in Green Bay. Green Bay, hey, Wisconsin. Hey, don't don't be shit on Green Bay. Dude, Wisconsin. I worked up there, man. Green Bay, was, Wisconsin. They had the best fucking cheese curds, oh, and they had the nicest people in the world. Don't sleep on it. And they fucking ice skate on ponds up there. But it's also it's smaller good, than Butte, Montana. Did you know that? Yeah, but size isn't everything, baby. But you know that, when yeah. it's when you're talking it's about, about assets, it's about it your helps when you have a big population to your buy your are. house or be interested in your house. More people means more potential people to be interested in that asset if you choose to sell that asset later on. Right, but if you're selective about it, say you buy the best house in Green Bay, like somebody's gonna want that. Maybe, but like either you way, lake, you got a lake or something. Yeah, but either way, I hope. I hope, like I said, I hope Adam. I hope he has good money. I so, hope he saved his anyway, money. Anyway, so he got in public intoxicated. He fucked up with the charger. The flight attendant called the cops. I assume. That's what. I, yeah, he got arrested off the got, plane and stuff like that. Off the, but like, tarmac. I don't think anything's gonna come of it, dude. Like, like I said, I. Don't get me wrong. With that misdemeanor. Fuck it. He's got so much money. Pac-Man has had a pass, and on the field, he did some of the dumbest fucking things. Yeah, when he little, pushed Joey Montez Porter Marvin. on the sideline, dude, that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen an NFL player do on the field. What when was it? it's game time, when he pushed Joey Porter to, when v- first Vontez decided to take AB's head about up. That playoff game, yeah. Steelers. It's the, one of the dumbest that things game ever. Was crazy, yeah. dude. But let me Montez get AB's Brian but, through the legs back of the end zone catch. Yeah, but oh let God. me expand out. Give me when it comes to the NFL, I'm gonna give you five. Five teams I thought won week one. I got the Dallas Cowboys, got the 49ers, the Browns, the Dolphins, and the Lions. If you had to pick one of those five teams, which one do you th- who do you think was the ultimate winner of week one? I want to say the Lions, but the best, the, I think the most best, like the, the most dominant team win. out of those five is the 49ers. I would agree. Not even close. And I, and I needed to see Week One because they they ended on a weird note. What I mean by that is Brock Purdy was they out ended that on last the four string quarterback, Josh right, Johnson. And, and, and I was like thinking it last year they let they traded Trey Lance right, and I'm looking at Brock Purdy last pick out of the whole fucking draft, Mister on Andre- Mister uh, what do they call him? Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah, Mr. Irrelevant. So dude. let me ask you about that. So when are we going to? I was in my head. I was thinking, was that just one year of magic, or is he legit? So when, and after week one, I'm thinking like, wow, he's fucking legit, dude. So when are we going to stop? It's like Steelers D is good. Like when are we going to throw out the the fact that he was tr- the last pick, and You're then never realize that, that You're this never guy? Throw that out. But when are we going to start realizing like this guy is? A legit number one quarterback in the league. I think you're seeing the rise. Like he's, he, not, he's not respected yet. He's not like a. You don't respect him like Burrow. You don't respect him like. Uh, is he Mahomes. better than Dak? You don't. Res- is he better than Dak? Oh. Uh, yeah, I fucking hate Dak. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Is he better than Daniel Jones? I. Uh, I don't, I don't know, dude. Like, swap Purdy and Daniel Jones. I don't know. Do you think That's Purdy gets beat at. 40 to nothing by the by the Cowboys? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Like, he's good, I don't know. but he's not that good. Yeah. I he's think, more I like mean, a game manager. He's not like a... I don't know. Go, t- is he better than Kirk, I gotta, I gotta Kirk, Kirk? So, if you had to rank Brock Purdy, where would you put it, like... Top fifteen, top twenty. 
Purdy's he's probably in the top 15, right? I mean, is he better? It's hard to tell though. His team is like super good though. Like, would you take Derek Carr or, Kurt, or uh, Brock Purdy? I'm taking Purdy, yeah. Really? Dookie Carr? What the fuck? I take Dookie, Dookie Carr. Carr. <laughs> I take Dukes Shit, Carr, bro. bro. No. Do you say Deuce Vaughn? No, Dukes Carr, dude. Dukes. It's a new one. Haven't heard that. Duke's car. That's a good one. Well, speaking of Dukey, let's talk about Miami University's football team. And not the U. I'm talking about Miami of Ohio University's football team. And this is no disrespect to those players, but, I mean, come on. Let's, let's, let's be real. So they face the University of Cincinnati Bearcats, KJ's mm. pride and joy alma mater. Woo! I don't know the line off the top of my oh. head, and I can look that up real quick. Oh. But you see. Cage, what are your thoughts about going against the mighty Red Hawks? Or is that the Red Hawks, right? The Red Hawks? Is the that Spread Hawks? The Spread Hawks. <laughs> so what You're are you? are not covering the spread, I tell you that. Don't what? call them the Spread Hawks. Let's, I'm pulling it up right now. What do you get? You getting the spread up there? I'm going to, yeah. So, first of all, what are your initial thoughts? Well, like, yeah, let's see the spread. It should, like, there's no way they lose this game, right? Dude, I'll tell you what, dude. I can't even remember our last time that we lost. And I've been going there. I've been going there since 16, so I graduated in 21. So that's five years of kicking their ass. So, <laughs> so and I don't even remember before or after. We definitely didn't lose after. So I don't know the last time they beat us. I mean, you have to look it up. So know. right now, UC is a 15 and a half point favorite. Slam. Miami is a 23 and a half point underdog. So are you, you taking? There's only there's only one spread. So. I was about to say that doesn't make any sense. So. 15 and a half point favorite you see is you taking the over you taking the under that's an easy one you got to take the so over so whenever on that you're talking one, about spread either either take or fade there's no over unders because over unders like a separate bet that's what I'm like it pulled up two lines I'm like that doesn't yes, make yeah, sense yeah so when you're talking about the spread you either take or fade you don't like over under cuz over under is a different bet anyways well are you taking over 15 and a half or taking under I'm taking oh, over I'm taking dude. that's 15 and a half dude. that's easy money like yeah, dude. Last year, so last year, it was like twenty two and a half or twenty, and I slammed that and it still hit. I mean, does you see? Not to ask a dumb question, does you see like how are they doing dude, without it's like uh, It's kind of so like the Bengals, right? We all thought they were gonna be. I mean, it's only one week, so. But you see, they, play last they just week? played Pittsburgh, man. Is that? And they looked really good. I mean, they were winning that whole game, and they never gave up the lead. They were up by like two or three touchdowns, and they almost came back and won Pittsburgh. But so like, they lost we last look, week. We look commanding. So no, they lost last no, week. No, they almost. Oh, they almost lost. So, but they had Pittsburgh had a chance. Yeah, we still won. Though. We still played a good game. Who's their star? And that coach like, was a little fired up more than I thought. So, uh, do they have a star player? Wow, they surprised me, dude. I'm E Jones and Kaina. From the backfield, dude, Kiner's sick. He's like a Jerome Ford back there. And E. Jones. Jerome Ford. And dude, if wow. you guys don't know, my boy Big T, Jamie T, my little brother, he's getting – we're getting teed up with him, Evan, Evan Prater, in the offseason. And I guess I just heard the other day the news that he's not even playing quarterback anymore. He's not even playing QB. And we got – keep in mind I'm saying this now because, dude, he was a four-star QB recruit coming out. Of high school, and so, now he's not even playing the position. So I'm gonna think about wide out. I mean, he's he looks like a wide out. He definitely can play wide out. I don't know if he's playing. So I'm gonna go down. You, I'm gonna go that's down. Pretty, that's pretty embarrassing. But the 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 E Jones quarterback, he looks good, man. So so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down UC schedule right now. So one and zero right now. Two and zero against Miami. No they, no no. They, they they beat somebody else. Did they already They're have a game? Yeah. Oh, Eastern Kentucky. Yeah, Eastern fucking. Where are they playing Eastern? Well, how much? Won, how much won. did they pay Eastern well, Kentucky to play like that 66, game? Sixty-six. So. Sixty-six to thirteen. So that's good. How much did they pay Eastern Kentucky to have that game on their schedule? A yeah, lot. Eastern Kentucky even got made a lot of money. Oh yeah. So all right. So they're well, all the big teams do that. three and zero oh after they beat Miami. They got Oklahoma at home. Are they winning against Dude, Oklahoma? Dude, I tell you what. So the boys are ch- chirping in the chat today. It's like two hundred dollars. A ticket anywhere to get to, to see Oklahoma, just to see that game. Yeah, dude. 
Oh, dude, that season a- taste are thinking about selling them because they make all their money back. And hence, why you see move to the Big Twelve. Because as soon as you get good, you've never team, heard of that before in your no, entire life. Never heard of that. So this is the biggest, most expensive game in UC's history, dude. Is it really? I would say. I mean, at it's, home, it's probably up there. At Nipper, yeah, at Nipper. That's not Nipper, a bowl. Maybe yeah. not like a bowl game or something, but at Nipper. I mean, what about because they have like well, the? Well, I mean, you can't you can't include Alabama Final Four and all that, but no, no, you can't include that. But like, didn't they host a? Uh, at Nipper though, didn't they host Houston for the athletic, Ameri- or the American or whatever it was? The conference championship would be at home. Didn't that happen, or was that Usually not? Usually we hot- play UCF or Houston, yeah. Yeah. So, are you guys beating Oklahoma? I don't know what's Oklahoma's record. Well, they're undefeated right now. They're ranked- undefeated. Who they play? Uh, I don't know. They're ranked nineteenth in the nation right now. Oh fuck. Oh, they haven't played anybody yet. Okay. Who, Oklahoma? Oh, yeah, we got a chance for sure. They played SMU. They played Arkansas State. Yeah, that's State. a nobody. That's a nobody. They played okay. Butch Jones' Arkansas State. They won 73 to nothing. Yeah, that's a nobody. And they beat SMU 28-11. to SMU always sucks. Well, they've never recovered from when the NCAA decided to put the death penalty on them back into the uh, 70s and 80s. You hear, what are you? What are you talking about? You didn't know that? What? Back in the 70s. SMU was like the school because they had all these. SMU is in uh, Dallas, Texas, so they had all these rich Texas people wanted to basically buy a national championship, and they recruited not only the number one recruit in the nation who was the top running back in the nation, they recruited the number two running back in the nation who went by the name of Eric Dickerson. No and way. They, he went to SMU. He went to SMU. And My dad's they, got his jersey in the basement. Yep, no and they almost won the national championship. Back, I think they're the first team to ever get full, the full death penalty by the NCAA, and they've never recovered ever since. Never. Yeah, recovered. I don't think they're going to recover from that. So, did they beat Oklahoma? No. I mean, I'll ask them. You know, but uh, no, I'm saying Cincinnati. UC. Cincinnati has got a chance, dude. At home. In do the, they beat? In Nip? Do they beat in Oklahoma? Nip? Do they beat? I don't Oklahoma? know, dude. All I know is we gotta go to that tailgate. I, I don't care if we you gotta don't go to tailgate. Okay, we gotta go to Clifton. They're me, three hey, and zero right, right now. Are we're they going f- to Clifton next week? Me and you. Clifton? Who wants to go to Clifton, dude? Dude, you gotta Clifton go to go to Woody's fuck. and beat the clock. Hell yeah, I'll go to Woody's. <laughs> oh shit! Give me a picture, He's dog. Seven years older than everybody in there. No, no. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we're twenty-five on game days. Say, you heard it here, froze, froze. Ah. You heard it here first, Sound folks. like that pig from Looney Tunes. Hey, 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 Yeah, so on game days, it's fair game, dude. Like, you can go any bar, anywhere you want. The problem is all of UC bars suck, dude. dude They're the all OU, terrible. Bro, I went to, went to OU, oh yeah. I'm not saying best, OU bars I got the best either. bars ever. What's your ideal bar, dude? The Banks? Somewhere where you can actually have a dance floor and dance. That's my that's my ideal bar. But on game day, oh, I'm so not, you're oh, like a you're like a Miami Oxford guy. Oh okay. yeah, dude. Bro, Miami there's Oxford a reason guy. they had Brick Street oh, start maybe, taking Miami. Maybe you'll take, maybe you'll take uh, Miami this weekend. <laughs> maybe can't get in though. You gotta have a Miami ID. You can't get in. Yeah, we know some other. But is Oklahoma beating UC or is UC beating Oklahoma? I need an answer. I don't What's need this wishy washy. I don't know What's shit. The spread? I don't care about that. I just want to know, are they going to beat Oklahoma or are they not? No. Okay, so they're 3 I mean, one. yes, they're going to beat them. Okay, so they're 4-0. Do they beat BYU? Oh, yeah, we're beating BYU. 5-0. and Do they beat Iowa State? Oh, yeah. 6-0. Do they beat Baylor? Someone is smoking a fat joint below us. Yes, sir, they are. Do they beat Iowa State? Yes. 6-0. and Do they beat Baylor? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me look at these, like, ranks first. The only team they face that's ranked right now is Oklahoma. That's the only. That's, it? Te- that's the only ranked team dude, as of now. Schedule that they play. this year, dude. That West Virginia game is gonna be crazy, dude. Yeah. I don't know. So Baylor, Oklahoma State, West Virginia is gonna be the toughest ones. UCF's gonna be tough. Houston's gonna be tough too, honestly. I think they're all. I know you, tough, got, like, you got like four or five games that are fifty fifty. So. Yeah, I was about to say. I think they're all. They'll all be competitive. Like I don't know. Well, much I mean, of, we have a chance to go undefeated. Low if key. you get past Oklahoma, you have a real good chance. So like if we can beat Oklahoma, I think we can beat everybody else. 
Yeah, I would say. I mean, you would say you would definitely think so for sure. If you got nobody else ranked, yeah, right? logically. The problem, the problem so, is UC is always due for at least one loss. I so assume. then you would probably think they would be facing Texas in the Big 12 championship. That'd be a fucking amazing game to see. If they played Texas, oh, dude. Oh, my God, That would dude. be awesome. What is the big – who are the teams in the Big 12? Like, who, who's the ranked teams? Texas, Oklahoma, TCU was ranked. I don't know if they are anymore, but – here, let me look it up real quick. Top 25? Well, and you got to figure Colorado's moving to the Big 12, too. Not this so, year, uh, but... Texas, it's one. Kansas State, they're ranked. We don't play them, though. They don't play that well? No, we don't play them. Oh, no, you don't play them. So that's two. We don't even play them. I mean, basically... So Oklahoma's three... Alright, so it's not as like It's not a lot this year. It's not as conceit it's not as yeah. I mean, competitive as I thought it well, would be. Well the thing is too is the big dude, 12, that's good for us though. I mean that's yeah. real good for us. Well dude. and even though like even though Texas and Oklahoma are leaving, I think I think they leave after this year. You're bringing in Colorado. Dude, they're fucking leaving? Yeah, you didn't know that? Fuck dude. Yeah, dude, Texas and Oklahoma are going to dude, the SEC. You better whoop that ass dude, now. Dude, they're though. going to the SEC. Officially? I thought that was rumors. Hell no, that's not a rumor, dude. Those are the first well, two the teams to start even, this whole why conference. Why they enjoy it? They're like the main. They're like the two biggest teams. Because the SEC is a bigger market. I know that, but why do they gotta leave? Because <laughs> they want to. They want to make more money. SEC is gonna have that nice TV. Are we, are we rolling here? Are we recording? Yeah, we're recording right now. Ah, you fucking <laughs> yeah, bad. ladies and gentlemen, we had a little bit of a mishap. We. Went on for about 20 minutes without realizing it was recorded. So we don't know so. if tra- Travis, Kel- Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are dating. Our biggest losers is the I Jets. I mean, tra- Travis seems like a pretty f- – he's got and the podcast with his brother. against the Eagles tonight. He's so a that's family all man. That's all he's a former Bearcat himself. Seems like a good guy to get hitched with. So Can you imagine this guy freaking dating the biggest female superstar? That's crazy, bro. Dude, don't sleep on Ohio, man. Don't sleep on Cincinnati and don't sleep on Ohio, dude. I'm just saying that. Yeah, why do you come to Cincinnati or Ohio? I don't know. I don't even know how we got here, but you know we're here. So here, let me let me switch. It's a to, fucking football state, dude. Let's just stay get, in the let's straight. Let's stay in the world of sports, because this is one story I do want to bring up. Yeah, I do want to. Talking uh, about LeBron. Uh, before I get to LeBron, what do you, dude? Here's another thing that's going to help you see out. Speaking of Big Twelve, yeah, Colorado. Colorado, dude, that's huge. Isn't played it? unranked we Nebraska. Got him as our coach, dude. He was interviewing at UC. We were so close, dude. Should have been, the, dude. I don't know why Florida State dude, we did not money. hire this guy. UC's got more money than Colorado. UC's I, got way more money. We invented I, Benadryl. You fucking come on. Doesn't now. mean you have more money though, dude. Yeah, we do. We get like ten percent of Benadryl revenue every year. But dude, you know Colorado's a former national championship winner. We're in big farmer, dude. Colorado has a better. Football history than There's University a guy of Cincinnati. That made a hospital bed from UC is still living. He's worth like over eight hundred million or some shit. But if you're talking Come about on, dude. if you're talking about football pedigree, Colorado historically is higher than Get UC. Get the hell out of here! In How many world national world championships in does world UC world have? Are you living How in? many national world championships world are they have? We're talking about the last twenty five years. Now that's a little different. But I'm saying last that's why I said years. historically, long period, historically, not recently. What do you mean historically, are you talking about before grandpa and shit? Or what? <laughs> I'm talking about like, I think it was 2000 or 1999 is when they won the national championship against Michigan. 1999? Like it was like either really late 2000s or really early 2000s or really late 90s. Colorado. Yeah. No way. What? I'll look it up right now, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't get the fans twisted up in here. Bro. I'm not getting them twisted, dude. But what do you think of Coach Prime, dude? Let me show you. Let me tell you Coach Prime's impact. They played unranked. Oh my god, dude! Listen to him talk. He's fucking crazy, dude. They won, they won in 1990. Ah, right, yeah. Don't be throwing out that fucking. 
I mean, throwing that's out. A, that's at like least a they reds, have a dude. ring. That's like the reds, at least they got dude. a ring, dude. That's like the Reds, dude. Come on. <laughs> red. Hey, we fucking still hold on to that fucking 1990 championship for the Reds, dude. Yeah, but I'm getting fucking pissed now. It's getting. It's. Well, dude, that's you can get pissed at baseball because that's baseball itself. But dude, I'll say in my lifetime, UC has been insanely better than Colorado. All right, then that's all that matters. I would agree with I just, that. Like, that's why I tell fucking Mike Forsyth about the Cowboys. They haven't done shit in his life, dude. And he's fucking yeah. telling me five rings and shit. I don't give a fuck. But you, you ain't been at the championship, you bitch. Can't, you can't throw out history, though, dude. It's still, it still happened. Nah, but, dude. When but, you get to, like, 19... But, if it's before your life, dude, it's like... Mm, but <laughs> mm. it's only 25 years old. We've only been here for... What's important now, baby? Win. What's important now? <laughs> All right. But let me tell you, l- ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the prime effect in its full. Last week, Alabama versus Texas was the marquee game on ESPN. You got the number three, te- number three team in the nation versus the number 11 team in the nation. And those are two of the biggest fan bases on all of college football. They had 8.8 million viewers watch that game. Colorado, who just got ranked... They're like 19th or something like that. Faced unranked Nebraska, who went like three, had three or four wins last season. They had 8.73 million viewers. Oh, that's crazy. They had that many, dude. I did not know. They that. almost beat the Alabama versus Texas game at noon ki- uh, for a, with a noon dude, kickoff game. They kind of earned that though. They beat. They were non-ranked. Nobody respected them. Then they come in there and whoop that TCU ass, dude. At TCU. Well, dude. Like I said, I mean that is, and that game was crazy, bro. Yeah, it was like forty-two to forty-five or something, dude. It was a hell of a game, and dude, is Colorado respect them, dude? Respect the respect the Dion son, respect Dion. Dude. Well, is Colorado and more so on Dion? Are they the biggest story in sports? In college, yeah. Not the whole name a bigger story. Aaron Rodgers recently, shit, that's pretty big. Yeah, that, I would say that. That's du- pretty big. But I'm saying like season long story, like a story that everyone's going to be paying attention to every Saturday, every weekend. They got to be the biggest story right now. I mean, look at Texas though. That's pretty big too. Is it bigger than Colorado? You never see Texas this good. You ever, have you ever seen Texas beat Alabama? I don't think I have. I don't I've, think I've ever seen Texas beat a. It was like the f- a top five team in my life. Dude. It was like the. F- First. That's the craziest shit I've ever seen. No, well, everyone, I think... That's a, that's a close second. I do agree. Te- I'll tell you what, dude, I think... I don't know, this year it feels like college football is like... Awesome? It's got more... Yeah, it's got more publicity this year than it's, ever And it's before. got more parity, too. Maybe maybe it's because the UC is in the Big 12 now, and I'm like... Because I'm in a like respectable conference, so I'm like really into it, or... Well, I don't know, maybe... When the Bengals start heating up, I'll forget about it. But it feels like college football is like, and maybe it's the Colorado Dion thing too. But so I think I don't it's, know. I feel like college is like I'm paying attention more to that than NFL this year for some so, reason. So I think it's two things. I think it's one, like you said, the level of the pl- of the level of play is awesome, and because the level of play is awesome, about penalties too, you have a dude. bunch of parity going on, which everyone likes parity because it, new teams rise up to the top. The old teams like Alabama, unfortunately for me, start to rise down to the bottom. I don't think they're going Fuck away, them. but it's just not their year. They don't have a guy that can throw the football. But also because of the whole conference realignment and all of that major saga going on, it brings even more attention to people who maybe not. The casual fan is now paying attention to college football because it's going to change drastically in the next two years with the conference realignment and all these teams moving to different places. I yeah, mean, I think, I think a lot has to do with, like, now that we're in Cincinnati, we live in Cincinnati. Cincinnati's in a good conference. Well, I, and, like, yeah. that's probably, like, the one of the main things for me. Yeah. I, say. I mean... To be honest, I don't really so know uh, about the Bearcats, but like, I don't know why you're a Bama fan, dude. Why yeah, you? My Bama mom's fan? side of the family's from Alabama. So Bama, though. Yeah. Dude, two always, teams. Always, dude, always I follow Alabama. Always, more. like when you were growing up, you were always Bama. Fan. Yes, sir. Childhood. Yes, dude. I follow every game you watch. I follow Alabama more closely than the Reds. Easily. Yeah, but that's easy to do when the Reds suck most of the time, so... I mean, they did... Dude, 2010, through that stretch, they didn't... 
they were kind of like the Bengals where they were making it to the playoffs but not winning and getting past that first round or first series. Let's talk about, let's talk about the Reds real quick. You think they make the playoffs? Nope. So let's look it up, dude. Nope. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Nope. You're and I love that. them, but... Oh, there's lots of the fucking Tigers, dude. Back to back. Get the fuck out of here. Dude. Oh, then we're definitely done. When you have a That's y- it. When you have a young team... Oh, dude, I did not know that. Never when you have done. a young team... The second half of August in the month of September. That's when it comes through. Huh? That's you, that's when you have to buckle down and take this shit seriously. That's when the stars. Everyone's come out, aiming huh? for the playoffs. And I if guess you we're lo- not out of it technically. Dude, if you lose to the fucking Tigers, that's a team you have to sweep, dude. All right. Like, so think about it, dude. So one. They're in like two, the fourth or fifth spot, aren't they? Three. Okay, so. How many teams do they take? Three teams how make the take, wild card. How many take for the NL? I think three teams make the wild card. Three? Then we're in it then. Where are we at right now? We got 76 wins, dude. But, like, compared to the other teams in the hunt, does it say right, where so, we're Oh, no. Philly's got 79. Yeah, Philly's the number one Cubs wild card. Cubs got 78, so that's two. They're number two. Oh, we're last in. Wow. Yeah. Arizona, oh, we're making it. We're making it, boys. Is Arizona? Let's rally, baby. We're making it, baby. We're the last team in. So and they, they, and they take six teams total. So if they go against the Dodgers, how you think they win? Is there dude, any? Just get, just get any? Us in. I don't know if we could beat anybody, but that's what I'm saying. If we like, get, if we get in the playoffs, it's like it be a good, in baseball. Anything can happen. It'd right? be a good feather in the cap. Anything can happen. I feel like baseball. That's like the hardest sport to bet on, dude. Oh yeah, it's so it's so it's varied. Like any and, day can be anybody's yeah. day, and you can't carry the like a single it's player like NBA, can't carry the team. The seasons are so long. You bet in NBA, it's like anybody can win. I feel like NFL though, you can kind of like, you can kind of tell like what's gonna happen. Well, you could have a one off. Like you just have a one like you can like bet a teaser and like be all right. Yeah, like. Like the Browns, especially opening like, weekend. Uh, if I was actually going to bet, like Browns, San Fran, like that was the best bet of the week, and I had that going into the week, and it, like I wasn't shocked at all. Yeah, I would say I don't. Just, uh, just like the Bengals can't hang with the you know D line like that, dude. I mean, and they always start off slow. I don't know. I don't. I don't think the Reds are going to get in just because they are young and they're starting to tail off a little bit. If they did, it'd be awesome because, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, they were 27th in the power rankings at the beginning of the year, and that right. was after think, a month of we, baseball uh, I too. Think we've already done enough, you know. I mean, I didn't even think we were going to be even close to like where we're at now. I think. It's pretty sick that we're even in the hunt. Honestly. Yeah. So it's kind of like you have to take the glass half full as much as. As easy as it is. Our fucking pitching, we got 76 wins. That's pretty good, Our pitching good, dude. sucks, dude. Like, I don't know what you do there, but you can't get... Dude, when they gave up 20 runs to the Cubs, and then they back it up and follow oh, it up I with, a, with 19 runs the other night, series, which dude. hasn't been broken since 1876, it's like, how, how do you expect to win that, dude? Like, how do you expect to get into the playoffs? And now we've seen the Cubs rise up, and they've been here's a here's a key piece, one of the hottest man. teams in baseball. Del Cruz does well, strikes out too much. Right, Del Cruz does well, and our pitching does well. Those two things go well. India got, we got hurt. a fucking chance. If those things don't go well, either one of them, we're done. Yeah, we're done. We're not winning a series. And dude, like he might make it, but we're not gonna win a series. Dude, he's so both of those things got click. And he's so fast. He's a guy dude. that you gotta get in play. Once he go, yeah. Once he gets on base, dude, it's, yeah. the whole team. You fired gotta up. at least get in play. Make them beat. Make them throw dude, you out. Small ball, Don't man. beat yourself by bunch. striking out. Fucking bun if you got to, dude. <laughs> you gotta pull Willie Mays Hayes and I've just get bunt. the ball in the field. Couldn't he just bunt every time we get on base? I mean, damn near. Maybe, but it's automatic. You take away his power if you do that. Take away the home run possibility if you do that. It's crazy how fast and how much power he's got. Yeah, at the but same time. right now the, the wow we have a chance though, dude. We have a chance. We got a chance, but right now the Atlanta Braves are the number one favorite to win the World Series. I don't think anybody beats them. That's the problem. They're good as fuck, dude. 
the Braves, and I no, hate. Who's, who's I hate who's saying that, dude. I can't stand the Braves. I think they have some of the most boring uniforms with that stupid A. But the Braves, I fucking hate the Braves so much. I don't like. Wow, them, look dude. at the Orioles, man. So I got Orioles, Baltimore Orioles, and the Cincinnati Reds. It's World Series. <laughs> yeah, what's that money? Pays, what's pays, that money? It pays, it pays like? hell, dude. The Orioles, and the Orioles are the, they got the they're the best record in the AL. So one one yeah, team's good, but they're also one team's good. But the Rays are right behind them. Holy shit! The Orioles. But are, that's good for them because the Rays got to play in the wild card if they secure the spot. The Orioles are good though, but bro, the problem is they're young too. Like this is the first any I feel like any this is time dumb, though like the first year I see some young cats come out here man. But that's what I'm saying. Any time a first wow, year. Wow, the Dodgers are still lit, dude. Yep. Holy shit, dude. I have a, I have a feeling it's man, gonna. They pay all that money and it always works out for them. Yeah. We always work. We always beat the Dodgers, which is funny. Well, I if I had to guess, I would pick Astros and Braves. I think you're going to see a rematch. God, dude, that fucking sucks. It sucks big time. I think dude. it's gonna be Braves. Because I. I don't like the Braves, and I can't stand the, the fucking Astros. And it's got to be the – who is the Orioles? It'd be the cool Orioles, to see the Orioles. I hope the Orioles cool. win it. God, I'd be so sick of those Guardians fucking Reds, dude. Holy shit. The Guardians are going to get in because they're going to – They're gonna, not going to get in, actually, though. Yeah, but they play in the they worst can't division in baseball. Card. They can't even get in. Yeah. They either have to win the division or they're not they're getting like, in. They're like 10 games under 500. Yeah. So they're not getting they're in. They're 10 games under 500? Nine. Jesus. Yeah. I did hear a rumor that they were thinking about parting ways with Francona. I did hear that. Even though I think What's that guy's one of the best managers in baseball. Oh, the manager. Yeah, Terry Francona. The, the prodigy up there. What's his what, name? Bieber? Shane Bieber or whatever? Oh, no, not him. Oh, the other guy. Ramirez? Jose Ramirez? Yeah, Jose. The guy who knocked, dude, it, he's like five, who five, knocked out Tim Anderson <laughs> on live TV. That shit was crazy. Dude. Down goes Anderson. That was like, that was Down a, goes that was a Anderson. Sto- that was a big story for a while. That was awesome, dude. He knocked him out too, bro. That wasn't a, like a, that was like when Jose Bautista got his bell rung by Odor, whatever his name, Rugnet Odor. Uh, uh, yeah, Andor. like that. That dude got popped. Like he was, was out of it. Last year was that last year that? No, that was like three or four years ago or something like that. Damn, time flies. Because I think Bautista just retired. All right, fuck baseball. Let's move on. Yeah. So let's go. On. Let's talk about the. You want to talk, talk about, about Le- LeBron the coach, James? the coach prime of the LeBron NBA and LeBron James. James. God, so, I love talking about LeBron, dude. So, I mean, first, yeah, so, so though. first off, before we get Ohio to, guy, Ackerman. first off, before we get to LeBron, if you're the U.S., how the fuck are you losing to Canada? How are you losing to dude, Lithuania, to like Germany, of, and Canada? Lose to like a dude. bunch of teams. How is that even possible? Germany. We lost to like Serbia or some shit, right? Lithuania, yep. Lithuania. That's what. Fucking Lithuania. Pretty so, sure there's more uh, people dude, in Ohio than Lithuania. I think the U.S. has got to make a statement. That's why the bronze. It's doing like, this. why are we sending these because, developed guys here? Because of our young. I mean, you think about it. You think like LeBron be like, all right, you young guys, you go out there and you know hit our. So light, why isn't Jason hit our, hit our light work for us? So right? why isn't Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown playing? Uh, Tatum They're was young. Playing. Why are they playing? Isn't Tatum playing? No. He ain't play- Dude, the best player was Jalen Brunson and Anthony Edwards. Yeah, Anthony Edwards is good. But Anthony Edwards not, is great. Not enough, I Jalen guess. Brunson is good, but they're not. Anthony Edwards could make the leap to great. I would say Jalen Brunson is really good. Could possibly make Anthony the leap Edwards to great. Anthony Edwards is like a great young player. That's how I describe but it. But they're not Tatum. They're not Brown. They're not Anthony Davis. They're not Steph Curry. They're not Damian Lillard. They're not Kevin Durant. They're not Devin Booker. They're not fucking LeBron James. What are we doing? I just named seven guys that would be on the, like, would beat any of those guys out. Why are none of those guys playing? Well, I mean, everybody's on the banana boat on vacation, bro. <laughs> yeah. So the everybody's rumor with is. their families and shit. So the rumor is LeBron is supposedly recruiting Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, Devin Booker. The vets? The vets. No young cats. Just vets. Well, Here's the interesting twist too. You know Joel Embiid just got they his U.S. Tatum's a vet at this point. Like, you know Joel Joel Embiid just got his uh, U.S. citizenship and is eligible to play for Team USA. Why would he though? Why wouldn't you? You, you got. What is he from? Africa. 
Oh, like Congo um, or some shit. Nigeria. No, I think his other citizenship is France. I think. No, could be dude, wrong. he's from Africa, dude. And he's from Africa, but it was. Where is he born? I think he dude? was thinking about playing for the French team. Or something. It was something no, weird like that. No, no, no. Where is he born, man? French, French nationality. Yeah. No, he, no, 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 no. I just Google it. <laughs> it's on Cameroon. Yeah, yeah. He's from. He's Cameroon. from Cameroon, but he, Cameroon never ne fucking basketball. Cameroon team, never though. makes the Olympics, so he was either gonna play for the French well, team. They would make it if he was there, right? Now he can play for the U. Dude, if they get Joel Embiid on the U.S. team, it's over. Like Joel oh, yeah, Embiid, LeBron, fucking, Kevin yeah, Durant, Lillard, Curry. I would take Draymond because Draymond is gonna take the defensive side out. Do you know what Draymond's good, dude? Like everybody can't be LeBron. Everybody can't be a Joel. Like you need like a Draymond, dude. Yeah, you need a good role player who's gonna do the dirty work. Like yeah, everybody can't be. You need that pick and you need Seth the guy. Curry and all these like ball. Yeah. You need a guy like who's... like the Suns. They're going to fucking suck, dude. They have too many ball-dominant people, yeah. No defense, ball-dominant. Are they better than the Lakers? Do they get to the Western nah, Conference they're Final? they're not beating the Lakers. No way. No, nah, dude. They beat the Lakers, bro. Fuck no, dude. Really? No way. Bradley Suns Beal, Devin Booker, and Kevin Durant, and DeAndre Day Ayton don't beat the Durant's Lakers? fraud. Oh, give me a break. They're all ball-dominant. Ball they're, they're what do you mean he's fraud? Like, you can't drop... Is, the chemistry is horrible, dude. Well, they haven't played yet. <laughs> like, I don't mean, I'm just going to look at it and be Ke like, that's not going to work. No. Can Kevin Durant drop 30? Yes, dude. It's just like Westbrook and LeBron. I'm like, no. Yes, get out of here, dude. dude. How is it not the same thing? They both take up the ball. Kevin Durant Dominantly. takes up the ball? No, LeBron and Westbrook, dude. Yeah, but Kevin Durant does? So I was like, that's not going to work. Yeah, I agree with that. Work. I agree, but Kevin Durant doesn't need the ball. Yes, he does. No, he does. Dude, he's one of the most effective. He's ball, dribble, dribble, mid-range, three. What are you talking about, he's not dude? A catch and shoot. The dude is a catch and shoot guy. He can no, shoot over not. anybody. He Bro, why do you do, think he fit he doesn't in? Doesn't do that. Though. Why do you think he fit That's in with like, the? He's not a Clay Thompson. So dude. why why do you think he fit in with the Warriors so good? Because they don't have a guy like him. What do you mean? It's plain and simple. They don't have a guy. He didn't like dominate him. the they don't ball. Have a ball dominate guy. None of those guys dominate. Besides Andrew Wiggins. Yeah, and Curry can pass. He can pass if he wants. None of those guys dominated shoot. the ball. That's why Kevin shoot. Durant was good on that Curry's team. Curry's like the best all-around fucking player dude, on offense. He's up There's there. There's nobody better than him than on offense. Not Jokic? I mean, it's hard to say. It's like it's two all around different players. I'm talking about like per per the team. It's so hard to judge NBA because it's like. You got to be able to like fit your team. It's all about fit, dude. In the NBA, yeah, that's how you win games. But you can also like Jokic. But you also win Jokic. games with superstars. It's the most Fucking superstar driven league. Plays like Durant. Devin Booger plays like Durant. I yeah. mean, these dudes play like dude, Durant. All those guys can shoot, and all those guys do not they need all to dribble, be dribble, get to the mid range, or dude, shoot a three. You're thinking of Harden and Kyrie. These are and then not. They can drive when they're they not need Kyrie to. and Harden. They don't need the ball to be effective. They can spot up, shoot. They can cut. It's not true. Really? They don't spot up and shoot though. All right. How about this? They're not spot. If they face the Lakers, if they face the Lakers in the Paul Corver. They're not a fucking. I'm not saying that spot up. I mean, Jesus, they can. They well, are allowed to dribble that's a little bit, but okay. It, if they play, if they play the Lakers in the playoffs, I'll bet you a hundred bucks right now they beat the Lakers in six. Guaranteed, no. You want to take that bet? Way too much size. Who? Lakers. Wait. What too about much. DeAndre Ayton and Kevin Durant? DeAndre Ayton's seven All foot right. one. All right. Kevin Durant's six foot ten. Dude, Kevin Durant's not body and nobody. He's a little stick, dude. It's a stick. What about Anthony Davis? Anthony Davis is a stick. No, he's nice, fucking massive. Look at Anthony Davis' weight, dude. He's probably like got fifty pounds on Aiden, dude. So are you taking that? Do you think you want to take that bet? I bet the Suns will win. Right, well, we'll, see, we'll see you like later down the. Oh, year. now we'll now well, we'll yeah, see you later barring, down the line. Barring injuries and all that, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. They play each other in the playoffs. If they are we'll healthy. I bet the Lakers would lose to the Suns well, in six. they got to play each other first, dude. So like, when we get there, we'll get there. 
I don't need to see them play. I'm just looking at them on paper, looking at the players they got. The Suns are a better team than the Lakers. All right, so who's your five for USA? My starting five? Yeah. Is Joel Embiid, you? is he playing for us? No. He's not? He's Cameron to know. Well, that's... USA the, guys. USA born people. I mean, you, you have to probably start LeBron. Okay. Curry at point. Okay. Devin Booker at the two. Okay, Devin Booker, really? All right. I mean, either Devin Booker or Dame at the two. It's one of them. I go Dame over Devin Booker, but yeah. What what do you got against Devin Booker? No, I like Devin Booker, actually. I just don't think he's better than Dame. Okay, that's fair. So, yeah, I so Curry at one, maybe Dame or Booker at two. LeBron at the three. KD at the four. If Embiid is not playing, that's the problem. Is where you, the problem is when you get into the big man. Who's that big man, dude? Who's that so USA big man? Carl Anthony Towns. Guess you go Anthony. Anthony Davis, Davis huh? yeah, probably. So pro- I would probably say Curry, Booker. Why we don't have a lot of big USA guys? Interesting. I mean, dude, I if you look that. at the 2012 team, the second dream team, our big man was Tyson Chandler. Interesting. Yeah. So I would say, and then off the yeah, bench. He's good, but he's but not dude, like great. Yeah, dude. but dude, off the bench is where we kill teams. Because let's say, like, oh, okay, yeah, the guards. Let's say I put Booker at my two because I'm going to have Dame as my, as my backup point guard. I got Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Jaron Jackson Jr., Defensive Player of the Year. Oh, my God. Jaron like, Jackson's so slept on. Dude. Jalen Brunson's your third string, potentially. Don't forget Jimmy Butler, by the way, if he wants to play. Like, our second five, if every guy plays, our second five is still as good as anybody's starting five. Easily. Like, dude, my second dude, my that. second five could be Damian Lillard, Jalen Brunson, Jimmy Butler, um, Jason oh Tatum, my God. and Jaron you Jackson have Jr. Jimmy Butler, dude. Yeah, dude. He might be a fucking starter, dude. Jimmy Butler, dude? Maybe. Who do you want more than that guy in the fourth quarter? Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. That's the best. That's the best dude in the whole fucking NBA in the fourth quarter, dude. Yeah, he's pretty good. But the fourth quarter. I really. Jimmy Baller. Get that dude the fucking ball. Put a team on your back. Jimmy Baller's gonna get it. Find a way. Yeah. I God, hope that dude is bad. Like dude. I said, dude. I I, I hope they all play because even I didn't realize. You know, we've lost the la- we've lost the last two World Cups. But we have it. We've won the past four Olympics because in basketball, the Olympics are the kind of how the World Cup is the biggest stage for soccer. The yeah. Olympics is the biggest international stage besides the finals, obviously. But it's the biggest international basketball stage by far. Is that next year? Yeah, it's in Paris, 2024 in Paris. Oh, that our guys are gonna love Paris too. <laughs> you think? So that's probably why they want to go. Hopefully they don't it's love it too spot. much. You know what I mean? It's not in fucking like well, that Jimmy Butler China goes, or He goes bullshit. to Paris all the Beijing time. Beijing or some bullshit. He used to be friends with Neymar and everything like that. Yeah, he loves Paris. I think LeBron, he owns like a soccer team. He owns Liverpool or something He like owns that. Liverpool. That's in England. Yeah, but they got Please ties. Please tell me you knew they, Liverpool was in England. The boys got ties over there. That's why I'm getting that, though. Yeah, he does. He also is a part owner of the Red Sox. You know you that? Think of like France and England, dude. That's like going from Ohio to fucking Indiana or something. Yep, they're right next door to each other. So right. So whatever. Well, dude. Take a train, forty-five minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Speaking of the NBA, I'm not sure if you saw this, but yeah. Did you see the NBA owners approved a new rule where going forward, an NBA team is not allowed to rest two stars in the same yeah, game. Yeah, what's going on with that? I did. So basically, I just saw, so I just saw that. So le- so they define a star as someone is who's Is this actually happening? Oh, it got approved. Wow. So a star is someone who either made an All-Star game or made an All-NBA team. So if you so have they can rest whenever they want? They cannot. If you have two teams, if you have a team that has two stars, one of those guys has to play. Except, and here's the thing, with that rule, are we going to see more guys who are quote-unquote injured now? Well, there's always going to be ways around the rule. That's right? what I'm saying. Like, are we going to see more quote-unquote injuries now because guys still don't want to play? So there's no more Kawhi Leonard rest. Because they, before they'd Unless be like, he says, oh, my back's like, hurting. 
Because how do you dispute an so injury? So now, now they're just going to do that, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Like, so there's always a way around it. So I, uh, if you really, at, no matter what, you're not him. You're not going to be like, oh, you're not injured. Yeah. So if you look at it, glass half full. Glass unless, you ha- the, unless they get the doctors up in there. Well, glass half full. Glass half full. The stance is okay. At least the NBA realizes this is, this is an issue. Like we can't have guy. Like we can't have guys sitting out. 50 games in the regular season and then just showing up for 16 games in the postseason. Yeah, I think that didn't look, MJ used to play like all seasons? MJ, 70, 80 games? There's only one season MJ if you don't count the season where he didn't come back, I think there's only one season where he didn't play 82 games. Did not? There was Did only not. one? Did not. Can you imagine that now? Just for that alone. That's how it should be, dude. Just, like, just for that alone, he should be the greatest and he dude, is the greatest player of if all you time. Don't, just for that stat you just gave me. Well, the whole thing just too. For that, the whole thing too. I is, mean, respect the guy. He's going out there every fucking day. Even exactly. if he wins or loses, he's fucking out there putting up numbers day in and day out. Well, and it's one. While thing, you're resting up, dude, that's bullshit. Well, dude. and it's one thing too to rest on a home game. It's another, dude. You're gonna take. Yes, you a, would rest up for the playoffs. If you take a this. day off on an away game, especially a cross conference game, where you're only gonna play in that away stadium one time per year, and you take that game off, where people like, there was a big story. It was like in Memphis, probably ten years ago, where LeBron they were playing Memphis. LeBron was on the Heat, and he decided to rest in Memphis. And a kid had his basically a sign that said, "I came here to watch LeBron." Because that was his only time to watch the brawn. Yeah, this happens all the time. It happens a lot. And I think, uh, who said that? Anthony Edwards said that. Yeah. He said, I'm going to every fucking game. Exactly. No what. So the it's glass. like people out here want to pay to see me, and so, I'll show up. Exactly. I'm like, so the glass house. Like, that's, that's how it should be. Right. So the, gl- the glass house. Ha- I like, that. I like full- that kid. Yeah. The glass house full part of it is okay, at least the NBA realizes we got an issue with this whole load management thing. The glass half empty part of it is, dude. How many more quote unquote injuries now are we going to see? Where kind of like Jonathan Taylor right now with the Colts, he's on the pup list. He ain't really injured, dude. He's you injured. Think? You don't think? No, dude. He, he's he just a, wants that contract, right? He wants that contract. That's why he's, he's not playing. Ben Simmons or some shit. <laughs> exactly. Like Ben Simmons, my back mental. is hurting. My mental. My no, psyche. Give me a, or, yeah, like I give me a, a break, dude. And my I'm mental. not trying to. to my mental health. I'm not trying to say no think. one gets hurt, but come on, dude. Like, you all of a sudden get hurt when you, after you request a trade. Come on, dude. Like, I'm going to be a little suspicious of that. But all right, let's get is, there, is there any way, is there any other thing in the sports world you want to talk about before we move I'm ready on? I'm going to get into pop culture, man. Let's go. All right, so. Pop culture? Talking about pop culture. Tory Lanes, his appeal got denied One of my today. Savings, dude. He's serving the full ten years. What do you think about that? Do you know the Tory Lane situation? No, you fill me in. So a while ago, Tory Lanes had a video pop up where Megan the Stallion and another dime piece of a girl were butt ass naked in his car. Yeah. And he decides to shoot five shots at Megan's feet, shoots her foot. Oh, I did hear about this. Yeah, yeah. that's what he said. I didn't know that was him, though. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, that was him. <laughs> Sentenced to 10. Was that his girl? I think so, dude. Which is like, didn't dude, say they were dating you were piping Megan the Stallion, and you shoot at her feet, and now you yeah, got 10 have, years? Yeah, you can have anybody, bro. You got so. 10 years, dude. What are you doing, bro? I don't want to be messing with her, though. She's got just as much power, if not more, than you, so... I don't know. She can mess with me. <laughs> she can mess with me any day of the week. But oh yeah, baby. what? Oh, I'm like, not saying she can't get it. What do you think of someone who's literally at the top of the industry in Tory Lanez? Maybe not at the very top, but top of his game, selling out records, and you do something so stupid that it gives you ten years and basically ends your career. Like what is? How can you be that stupid, bro? Like. What do you think, man? Uh, I don't know. I think rap's dead and he's dead. So, Well, speaking of rap being dead, Doja, hey, Ca- got Doja years, Cat's paint... He's got the- 10 years and rap's 10 years before he's gone. So. Well, Doja Cat's Paint the Town Red became the first rap single in over a year to go number one. Let me ask you this. 
Is it because the song is actually good, or is it because of all the satanic no. controversial shit? That, it's good. I think the it's name more of that song. There's no way. It's good. I think it's because of the controversy surrounding the song. Oh yeah, I'll go with that. Like I even heard the song, but I just already know that's probably fucking ass. Yeah, you. you ooh, she the devil. Dun, dun, no, dun. I never heard that song. You never heard that song? No. I'm sure you've heard that song. I don't think, dude. I don't it's, listen. To that. I don't listen to that bullshit radio song bullshit. It's just. I just put a, I I just put know, a meat dude, playlist like, together for this party Sunday. I don't be listening to that shit. I don't shit. get why the Satan shit is popular, bro. Like, especially growing know, up now. I mean, like, what do you, I mean, that's not a surprise. Like, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, you go back to history, you don't know why? I mean, I, I get it, look but. About, look at rock and roll, dude. They always do yeah, that. Shout out to the that's devil. That's a good point. Molly Crew. ACDC, Highway to Hell. Yeah, Hell's Bells. But I feel like it wasn't so blatant where, like, ACDC so wrote a song a called while, Highway to Hell. It's been a while for a while. But they didn't make it's a music video like a where pop, they were fucking the devil well, they gotta in the put same like breath. a pop twist on it, right? So. Yeah, it's just. Rock I don't and roll kind of like sounds like a bad out of hell, right? So it's like, it goes hand in hand. Let me ask you this, dude. Do you think. Pop, it, Pop's supposed to be like light music, so yeah. when you turn it evil, it's like, what the fuck's going on? Do you think America is declining or progressing? Uh, I think if you look at our president, well, I'm <laughs> not him specifically because I don't know if he's if declining, you, uh, dude. He's just gone nation, at this point. Uh, if you voted that guy, that dude's just gone. That's uh, that's uh. Oof. Well, we really we don't really That's have a big like, oof right we there. really don't I don't want to talk too much politics but like we really no don't I'm have, just saying we really don't have like a a decent guy out there that can talk to the people no I'm just saying as like morally do you think America is declining or progressing I don't know you used to think you think about to the fifties and sixties dude well if you look at that we definitely you, declined for guys sure guys used to have like one girl. Mega power, they beat on their wives, cheat on their wives, and like have multiple girls and shit. So it's like more it's now. Always, it's always been, it's always been kind of the same. It's just like now you just know about it more versus well, now like it's back then you just don't know. Yeah. Now people are so I don't I don't think people it's are really, pimping themselves out. I mean, anything I think. Uh, I mean, we're gonna talk about from a women's standpoint. Like they have definitely progressed rights wise and shit like that. So. I mean, I think, I think more yeah, people, from the 1920s or whatever it was. I think yeah. people, no, even from the 50s. I think more people. So hold on, just I because you, I think it's a very accepting world compared to back then, dude. If you, I, mean, I would agree, it's more accepting. Just from what I've yeah. heard from my parents and shit like that. It's, um, there was like a very uh, superior complex back then. I would say. So speaking of progressing and declining, let me ask you this. So like, I think the world, the world is uh, with all the, dude. All I think, bro, this is a perfect world. If you take today's world right now, right, right, and throw out social media, like keep YouTube and shit like that, like content and stuff. Yeah. Throw, but throw out like Twitter, Instagram, all that shit. Right. I think this would be like a perfect world, dude. I think that's a good point. I go. Like, well, I don't know though. The OnlyFans. Yeah, that's probably not good for anybody either, honestly. So morally, it's probably yeah, yeah, not throw the best out, like, thing. Throw all the porn and shit. Like that's not good for anybody. And uh, like, if that was gone, I think this whole world would be like a lot better place. It'd be definitely, it'd be, it'd be different for sure. It's like I was growing up, man. I was a kid. Like we didn't have all that shit. It wasn't as we didn't have that. Like it wasn't as common. I think and that prevalent, was like for sure. I think that was like the best era, best time of anybody's lives. Like the yeah. world was very like. Accepting everybody got along. Size nine eleven, and outside of that, there was like a good stretch. Like nothing, like really, really happening. That there's no riots. Shit, we went to yeah, Iraq. That's we went true. to Iraq, but that's about it. Yeah. Well, like I said, speaking of progressing and declining, Drake's dropping a new single from his album for all the dogs this week. Uh, Rap is good Drake too, still in his prime, or what? What are your like? Nah, he's always not his prime, dude, dude. No way he's not his prime. What do you mean? He's definitely not prime? in his prime. Like, he's on the decline, bro. Not in his prime. I think he's been on a steady decline ever since Take Care. That's been a... What's the last one with like One Dance and... um Views? That was 2016. 
Yeah, that was good as fuck. Dude. Views was good. I like views. No, oh, let me look after, at the, after that. I think uh, I haven't really heard anything. What'd you think, good Scorpion? What'd you think of that? Oh, that was good as fuck too, actually. So I'll give him that. All right. Is that twenty one? Uh, here, let me that's look at That's probably his last good album. Was it once? Scorpion was 20. Once, Scorp once it needs, and that's a good song, dude. Scorpion was 2018. Here's where so it, after 2018, after honestly, after, after, anything after 2019, shit, shit's gone downhill. Honestly, yeah, because so. you had that certified love or certified lover boy. I thought the, the terrible. I thought the album was trash, dude. I had like one song. Like, dude, man. the I'm too sexy. I thought that song was. And the music video I thought was I know it's supposed to be kind of cheesy and funny, but nah, not my cup oh, of tea. Man, was that Hotline Bling, then, dude? Hotline that, Bling. That was, was that, uh, that was Views. That was Views. Twenty sixteen. Yeah, yeah. what's, what's all? Where's the um, head, head headlines? Right. That was Take Care. That's twenty eleven. Best big I ever had. That was Come twenty. On, man. Twenty. Best I ever had was So Far Gone. That was two thousand nine. Oh, that was oh yeah, nine, dude, my that's, dude. That's the good shit right there. But then he had that. Oh nine. He that's had good shit he right had that. There. Honestly, never mind. Which is like that house album. And it's like, what the fuck are you doing? I bro? gotta give that a listen. I love house, dude. I love you, EDM. I didn't like that. And then it, for all the I dogs in twenty twenty three. But he's got a house album. Yeah, <laughs> obviously it was that good that you never heard of it. Honestly, never mind. Yeah, it's like a house type album. I need to give that a listen, dude. I was in the. I'll tell you what, bro. EDM is gonna be skyrocketing. Fucking over. So I think I, I think that's like the next gen. That's the next gen EDM. Yeah. So I think EDM club music is gonna be like. I don't know where it goes after that, but that's like that's the last stop. So that's the you, last stop. If you look at the top three most popular genres, pop's always gonna be in there because it's literally pop. Pop is short for popular, right, so that's it's always like, gonna be pop in there. Pop could be anything. It can so be, then yeah, it's it always about those rock. last two spots. So rap used to be number two, and honestly, it got no close way. to being number one. No, at one point it almost did. It's probably now, country and EDM now. I would. That's what Country's I was about to say. Comeback, it's definitely dude. country and EDM now. Country's definitely made a huge comeback. Oh yeah. Recently. There's a reason Morgan Wallen, Wallen, Wallen is selling out Morgan concert Wallen after a lot concert. Of credit, dude, for that. Yeah, but are you hyped for the new Drake album? Or wh what do you think? Nah, I don't give a shit about rap anymore. Not the new generation. Dude. Like, the new I generation I heard sucks, enough Drake. Dude. I'll be excited to hear a new guy. But who? Like a like a new Lil Uzi or something or whatever. Even Uzi's like a, been on a decline too. Just like somebody new that's like, I don't know, dude. The Kodaks are gone. The Twenty One Twenty One Savages are gone. You see Kodak. Uzi's gone. Yachty. You see Kodak. Gee, there's no Chief Keefs. I mean, what happened to all the good shit? You see Kodak tr uh, took the field there's no of fucking Travis's. Give me a Travis Scott or something. But did you listen to Utopia? His last album, Travis's. No. Not that. It wasn't Natural World, and it wasn't Birds, and it wasn't definitely wasn't Rodeo. I don't know what any of that means, but yeah. Um, Those are his last three albums. Oh, Be Beats and Trap? Yeah. Birds Sing, Trap in the McKnight, or whatever. Yeah. That's my favorite for him, but... Dude, friggin' uh, Astro World is crazy, bro. Uh, let, me, let, me get, let me get to something that pissed me off, because we're kind of winding down to the end, but... It's getting dark out here. We started yeah, out with some light, dude. It's yeah, getting dark but, out dude, here. Did you see the story that McDonald's is getting rid of the self-serve drink stations at their restaurants for a more cons <laughs> yeah. for for a yeah, more consistent we customer all know why experience? That is. We all know why that is. Bro, he give can, me a fucking tell, break, tell fans dude. Why. Come on, man. Tell the fans why. How much money is McDonald's why, making? Man. And now they're gonna cut off my free refills at any time. That's what we're doing. You know what it is, dude? Simple as that. Save cost, baby. Boom. Simple as that. And why it's do you need like, to save costs if I you're McDonald's? Them, they only charge a fucking dollar for a large ass drink. So like, well, they charge ten cents for a, a water cup. You know that? Whatever, put it on the tab. Ten cents. I give a <laughs> fuck. Put it on the tab. But it's like, why? Are, why are we? Why are we charging for like? Why do I have to ask you now to get a refill? Why can't I just go up and get a refill? Right. I mean. Uh, just go to, stick to the drive-thru, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just stick Tell to the them, goddamn go app and stick to the goddamn drive Dude, they, they were doing, like, I did, like, their setup in the McDonald's. Like, it was looking like a three- or four-star restaurant there, low-key, but... Well, did you see the video of the uh, fully 
Like, um, they were doing well. Like the design in there, but now did they you see the, the drinks. Do you see the they McDonald's the drinks? I'm definitely not going in there. You now. see the McDonald's restaurant that was fully automated. They didn't have a single employee work there because the yeah AI were, cooking on McDonald's. Huh? They got AI cooking on McDonald's. Yeah, dude. This no thing way. was dude. Look it up. They were literally That's the whole thing? restaurant was doing everything. The first non like human restaurant. I want to like, uh, go to like a nice ass. McDonald's. There's like some uh, like uh, around the world that are like supposed to be like go to the one five, in Japan five. and stuff like there's that. There's like one in like Japan or France or something that's like supposed to be like four or five star dining like well, that, dining type. Well, that's why like, you got a server and yeah. shit <laughs> yeah. like coming out there in the Taj. Well, that's in um the intro the introduction. Well, not the first intro scene, but the first scene where you see John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. He's talking to Jewel Samuel Jackson. He's talking about how you can buy a, a glass of beer at McDonald's. Like a full glass of beer at McDonald's. For what though? I, I, I don't know. For, there, what, but what that's the that? whole that's the whole scene where they're talking about you know what they call a quarter pounder cheese a quarter pounder che- with cheese in uh in in uh Amsterdam. And he's like uh, Royale with cheese, Royale yeah. with cheese because they don't have the they have the metric system. They don't go off pounds or anything like that. Royale. So they baby. can't call it a quarter pounder because they don't know they what the fuck that is. They call it a meter cheese, dog. They call it a Royale cheese. Quarter meter cheese, dog. <laughs> a, Royale, a quarter meter with cheese. Get that meter with cheese, man. Uh, t- uh, full ounce of cheese. Can I get a full ounce of cheese? All right, so you got to pick. McDonald's or Wendy's? Go. McDonald's. McDonald's? McDonald's over everything, dude. Biggie bag, no? Dude, the biggie bag can suck my... Wendy's fries dude, suck, dude. dude the They're biggie, terrible. The biggie bag is like underwhelming, honestly. No, nah, dude. You go to the. It you, is like the nuggets. You use are the good. McDonald's app. The nuggets are good. The drink is good. Nah, dude. But the you use the McDonald's app. The fries get, and sandwich are fucking ass, dude. dude. You get you use the McDonald's app. You get ten chicken nuggets for a buck. Or you get a free large fry. Yeah, that's just far. I just do. I just do the. Uh, what is it? The f- buy one get one. You get double cheeseburger. Oh yeah. Well, or six, six piece, piece nug- nugget. Oh yeah, dude. add the fucking Hell fat yeah. ass large drink. That's under five, dude. That's all you need. Easy dude, cheeseburger and nugget. Who needs a goddamn biggie bag? You don't need the damn fry, dude. The only Stay thing all the salty ass nasty fry. I, I, I went to Wendy's today, and the only thing I get at this point, I get a baconator fry. Day? I went there damn. today. I get a baconator fry, and I get a crispy chicken sandwich. And that's it. They get. I feel like they're they got good stuff like on the regular menu. Not the biggie bag. Yeah. Like, you can't save money at Wendy's if you're trying to get something good. Yeah. Well, talking about Wendy's, I'm hungry as fuck, so you got... Kyle, you got anything else to say to well, the people? So you want to do a personal those, update real quick? Was, you want to yeah, do we'll a do quick that. personal one, update? One more thing before that. What you got? So, uh, the iPhone 15, you buying or selling? You buying it? N- me, personally? No. No. Dude, I'm not... You know, my whole thing with the iPhones is what's so different. Like, you got a better camera. I get that. You got probably better storage and stuff. Dude, I can already tell they're fucking throttling me down. Like, my battery's getting fucked. Really? Isn't that shit crazy, what, what, dude? They what, always fucking do that. Do you dude. have a 12? What do you have? 14, bro. I'm pro. And your battery's already being fucked? Yeah, need dude. To delete some apps, my dude. dude. I need, need to get rid of those apps. Yeah. No, no, no. I can tell they're, like, throwing it down. Cause the, dude, as the release, long as the I can... The release is coming up, so they're throwing it down the phones. As long as I can stream... That's a conspiracy, but it's fucking true, dude. What, that they limit the devices and stuff? Yeah, yeah, they throw it down. I don't know. It's a good, I think it's just smart business-wise. Like, can't yeah, have someone... Can't have some dude still living off the iPhone 6 and doing just as fine as someone with the iPhone 15. I mean, 15. why'd you release it then? Because the guy can make more money. Then make a better phone. Why release a new quit song? Relying, quit relying on like tactics. Same like same thing with the artist. Why would you release a new song? Because some point people are going to get tired of the thing. old one. It's not the same thing. I think it's a little bit similar. Got to keep it going. Got to keep it going, baby. Keep the momentum rolling, man. Yeah, but you don't. They don't throttle me down on best I ever had. I still listen to best I ever had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right? It's different I mean, than come that. Come on, now. what the fuck are we talking about? Are you I'm buying still, it? You I'm buying still the fucking th- bumping a. How I bling and fucking. Are you buying the iPhone 15? Jump man, jump man, come on now. You baby. buying the 15 then? Dude, I would get it if it wasn't so fucking. If it wasn't a thousand fucking dollars or whatever. Having the newest phone is always nice, but I don't even know what the new gadgets are. So. I'm not like. I know, like I'm. I got. I got my boy. I got. I got a boy. Yeah, like I'm tech savvy enough to where I can 
Like, I work with AI every single day, so I'm tech savvy in that aspect. But when it comes to, like, do I personally need it? Dude, as long as I can get on ESPN and check my fantasy team, that's 75% of the battle with yeah, my phone. Yeah, that's why I switched from Verizon, dude. It's like... That's what I have. I'm not I'm not getting that expensive ass... My, yeah, honestly, I might, I might like a pure talk or on the Spectrum or something like that. A Spectrum, by the way, do you have good coverage with Spectrum? Like, is it not? Yeah, I mean, I'm in the like most coverage areas. It's not screwing you up or anything. I've never like been that. out of town yet, where I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have not been in fucking Kentucky yet. By the way, do we need to go to Kentucky and get uh get some free bats cooking, dude? Free what? We should go, we should go to like Brothers or something tonight, dude, or like. You got free. They got. Oh, they're doing like a free bonus because Kentucky just opened sports. Sports oh, betting is really? legal there now. Dude, I'm always down to go to Newporting. I've heard Covington's even better than Newport. Yeah, Covington's got a few places. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not familiar with Newport and Covington, those are the two cities right across the river. They're basically yeah, part of it's Cincinnati. Yeah, free gambling there, boys. And we got yeah. the game on right now. We got to hop off these mics, dude. We're getting yeah, too hot. But. Quick personal update. You got anything in your personal life you want to share, KJ? Yeah, dude. Um, so we just went. We just got back from uh, Myrtle Beach, and is that who you were talking to last night? Myrtle yeah. Beach girl. Yeah. So Nate caught me in the act. I didn't catch, dude. You came out. I was bit, eating my Taco bit. Bell, and you come out and start yeah. <laughs> introducing to me when I got a mouthful so of I, beef I met, and burrito. I met this girl. She chased me down in like one of the bars. And like, you know, came, like came up to me, you know what I'm saying? So, and then we hit it off really well. And dude, she's fucking, she's tatted up, tat gang like me. <laughs> she's cool. She's fun. She likes to dance. She's beautiful, man. It's Obviously, like, you guys like to talk to each other and stuff, cause yeah, we're still like talking. And tw- I feel like I'm in a long and we're, distance. Yeah, where she live? Where she live, KJ? <laughs> she's fucking out there in the Oregon Trail. In Oregon, Oregon motherfucker. Oregon God ducks, damn dude. Oregon, dude. She fucking. The Pacific she shoots, Northwest. Dude, she shoots gone. She's a hunter, dude. She's so badass, dude. I was she visiting like, Cincinnati soon? She said she was going to, but then she's like, well, she's got to figure out a few things with her job, but like, yeah. Hopefully, dude. I don't. I do. I hate to say it on the pod, but I got to say it, dude. I, I'm catching little feels for a little. Oh, God. A little, my little organ the little piece feel, out there. little feels the action going on? Dude, she's so sick, though. I was like, damn, this is the perfect girl for. But me, are you dude. in that honeymoon phase where everything's oh perfect? Oh, my God, dude. You could say that for sure. Yeah. It's only after you get out of that phase when well, you can I really mean, tell, dude, like, we've is only this party worth it? We've never been on a date. We've never, like, spent the... Uh, yeah, we definitely we spent the night. Never mind. Well, we never, like, had some, like, alone time. Together. Yeah. Dude, if she comes all the way from Oregon, your ass better be taking her to like Maggiano's or Buca de Beppo or Ruth Chris. We're going to Maggiano's, dog. We're going to like down here. We go to I know like Ruby's. some gems, dude. You gotta go to Montgomery Inn for sure, dude. Montgomery Inn. Montgomery Inn would be good. Montgomery Inn, Incline House. You guys show the like Cincy Cincy spots. Is that the new one down? Is that is that what it's called? Incline House. Nah, Incline House is on the West Side. West Side. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, I know Incline House. Yeah. The new ones down there is really take good. Take her to Ruth Chris. Nah, I'd take her to Ruby's for that. Buy her a $50 steak. I'd take her to Ruby's. You can go to Ruby's. You ever to Ruby's? I've actually personally never gone to Ruby's. What the fuck? I need to. about dude. Ruth Chris? Go to Ruby's first. Dude, we'll go to Ruby's together on the... We'll go to Ruth Chris and get you know, the... Uh, Real Ones, you remember Real Ones brother? Yeah, I know Real One. His brother serves there. Oh, does he really? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff. We're talking about Jeff Rubies. Jeff Rubies is Jeff the, Rubies, uh, dude. He's he loves like high school sports, NFL. Oh, uh, he loves. We got high, Burroughs. There's a Burroughs steak name after in yeah. his restaurant. Like, no, one thing he is very Cincinnati proud, which is awesome. But, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Rubies is. I'm not sure if you saw the viral clip, but they're the ones that serve the Air Jordan cake, where it comes out in a smoky I just box. Saw that. And, I've been seeing that on people's snaps. Yeah, it looks. Up? It's only seventy five bucks too. Which is not bad. What do you get? You get a shoe and a steak, or what? So <laughs> the shoe, the shoe is the cake. Oh, it's the cake. I've had that before. Yeah, so the, like shoe Chicago, the, it's a, the shoe is the shoe is same thing. It's all cake. I did a cake out of a cigar. Yeah, I did that before. Yeah, it's just fucking expensive, those. Yeah, but I mean, if you get, I'm gonna go to Cheesecake Factory and get me fucking. <laughs> 
giant cheesecake. Get the most dude. overpriced cheesecake in the whole goddamn Hell no, city. That shit is worth the price, dude. Yeah, but that's the best cheesecake I've ever had. So, the what's day. The, what's this girl's name? You want to give it out or not yet? Oh yeah, Sarah. What is her first name? Sarah. It's a Sarah good name. from Morgan. Sarah from Morgan. All right. Well, what keep us you? keep well, us up to date when it about, comes to what that. What about your little thing? Uh, my thing's fucking over. <laughs> Thank God it's yeah, over. Yeah, so a little background, do they want to? Yeah, so we, we met, met up the, Wednesday night at the Banks for yeah. our shots. We met up to, Wednesday we night, and it was over by Saturday. <laughs> you, so. The fans, if you guys ever want to go out, we'll go out with you guys. Yeah, well, I'm always down to go out, and, especially uh, if you're willing to pay, too. It's only like $4 during the week. Like, any weekday, yeah, dude. Four dollar like $4 green tea shots, shots drinks, wherever was we go. pretty dangerous. So it's like deadly down there. And yeah. you always meet some, like, low-key chicks down there, which is sick. Yeah. And so we meet like two chicks, bring them back up to the crib. Let, and then I'm playing Pong with her, and we're like whooping Nate's ass and shit. Yeah. But let, then he goes back down to the bar and gets it. This is after we're like five or six shots deep. Yeah. And he's going back down there buying more shots. And we could keep Worst day at work the we next got, day yeah. of my life. Both of us are like, you text each other, like, dude, are you making it through? I'm in the bathroom. I'm like, dying, dude. Bro. And then they end up talking for a couple days and then. But you want to talk about that? How'd it go? Like, yeah, when you guys so, are with each other. Yeah, dude. So, let me say something. Two things. There's a lot of things I... <laughs> so, okay. Let me give you three big pet peeves I have. Of, you can't be loud. And when I say loud, like, loud like you're trying to attack it. Uh, trying to attract attention all the time. Like, I'm going to be loud so everyone can look at me. I don't right. like that. Right. Two, obnoxious. That kind of goes with the loud. And three, well, I'll give you two more. Low self-esteem, which leads to untrustworthiness, and bad manners, dude. I cannot stand bad manners. Yeah, you are a manners guy. Dude, manners are easy, man. It's you are not a manners hard. guy. Like, please and, and thank you. When you're, I'm a, saying, you're, a, you're such a... Dude, I was telling me and my parents were talking about this. We are like, dude, you need... You're like one of the nicest dudes in the world. Like, especially around girls. Like you almost need, too nice, dude. You need like a super. There's so many like, I feel like there's so many nice girls that you like you could just get paired up with. Uh, well, and you'd be I haven't like, met. I haven't unfortunately <laughs> met them down here yet. I just but, like the bar girls are tough, but like, you need like a little church girl or something like low key. A little church. The <laughs> I need to go I back just, to church. I just fucking need, need to look at the gospel you choir. See, and yeah, go you just need like a nice like low key girl, bro. You don't need like one of them like. I crazy don't like action. drama, dude. Because oh, drama I, I just wastes time. I can handle those like drama girls. It's fine. Nah, I'm, dude. I don't like. Kind of fits my style a little bit, but. Because dude, drama pops up at the worst time. It always pops up at the worst yeah, time. But you need you need like a little drama in your life, right? I need someone who's mature, is busy with a job. Because that means they actually got another life besides a relationship. Yeah, is that your perfect girl? Uh, I can go on and like, I would say, you just gotta be like, fucking normal, dude. <laughs> like I hate to say that, but like, I think you're just big on the manners, the nice part. You gotta be. I got like, cause here's why I'm big on the manners. Cause if it if it gets real and if it gets serious, you're gonna meet my parents at some point. My parents are big no, on. They ain't messing around, right? The, so. And my parents will give you a chance. But they're big on respect, manners, being able to present yourself in a good way, not in a hoey or slutty way, and being a good, have confidence within yourself. Because at some point, dude, my mom's going to talk shit. Not talk shit like degrading or anything, oh, yeah, she's but she's going to make fun of you. Like She's going to, no, she's going to like interview you. Yeah. My mom's my going to. Mom does that all. She does yeah, this check. My mom's going to talk a little and, shit. Like, like, passing that check. Yeah. You gotta have the yeah, self confidence to not only take it but give it back. And if you do, she'll love you to the day. Like she'll love you. But if you're low self esteem, you're gonna take everything personal, and you're looking for the slightest thing to get pissed off at. You can keep on walking. I'm not interested. Not interested. Yeah, dude. And on that note, let's get let's get out of here, man. Yeah. On that note, up. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm hungry. As it, fuck. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get. Ladies some and food. gentlemen. Please make sure you go check out growlzone.com. We're making updates to the site constantly. We're always going to have new videos and everything like that. We're going to keep doing the podcast every single week, so make sure you keep on the lookout. And like I said, 
We're hoping to God this Bengals season is another like last season, but please make sure to go check out growlzone.com. And from Cincinnati here, you got Nate Moore, you got Kyle Jasper, Natty Nate in the Rage Cage. Yo, make sure you stay, stay in tune and we'll check you out next baby. time. Have a good one and God bless.